scenarios and locations that we get ourselves into some of these things. So today I'll be talking about the safety tips necessary to avoid rape. Number one is secure your car and your home. Keep a light flashlight around you. Have your cell phone around. Always make sure that your cell phone is charged so that you can always have time, have a time to call whenever you are in a, a, a situation that is not palatable. Also, always keep your doors and your windows locked. It's very, very important. And also to avoid unsafe situations and strangers. Avoid unsafe situations and strangers. That's very, very important. And if you have been followed, this is a very strong security tip. If you have followed or you notice that somebody has been following you and you cannot really account for why the person is following you, it is important that you go to the nearest police station or you go to a fire department or you go to a place where you have a lot of people because the presence of many people may, we tell, we make the person or the group of persons to go. Also learn to walk in group at night. It is very, very important that you that you walk in group. Also too, you should scream whenever you see situations that is not palatable for you. Situation that is likely to lead to rape. Always learn to shout. And also to always go around with some weapons. Weapons that are that are for safety to ensure your safety. Weapons such as pepper spray. Pepper spray go a long way to it's a it's in a in a perfume like um, container. You can use it. Just the major point of attack is the face. When it is spray on the face, it destabilizes the person at um, that point in time. Also, you should, as a person, not let strangers into your house, especially when they are in a tight corner. Maybe, for instance, somebody wants to use a phone and the person comes to beg you and say, please, can you help me with your phone? Yes, even if they want, it's, it's not a bad thing to help people. But when you want to help, always ensure that you also have people around that will always save you and for the night things always have your lights on at night your security light always ensure that it is on because that is going to help you to see the surrounding and you'll be able to know when danger is coming now that's that for how to secure your place of resting your head as your own. Now let us go to the other part which is safety tips while you are walking. Just like I said earlier, avoid walking alone. Do not go to isolated places alone, places that you will be the person alone there. Always avoid those, those kind of environments because it's not good for you. And walk with someone if you will walk at night always walk with someone that you trust move with somebody that that you trust don't always walk with someone that you don't trust walk with somebody that you trust it's very very important and when you need to walk if it becomes necessary for you to walk ensure you walk with people in a group walk with people in a group and if you will need to also walk walk in an environment that is lighted an environment that has security light that you can see at night very clearly don't walk in places that you won't be able to account for who is the next person coming in the dark and also avoid shortcuts the shortcut should be avoided at all costs the shortcut don't take any shortcuts it's not always the best taking shortcuts has not really helped people bush paths should be avoided those lonely places should be avoided and also to do not accept rights from danger from strangers that is um, one aspect that we really need to 
walk on accepting rights from strangers because so many persons have been taken away as a result of accepting rights from danger and also to if a driver wants to get an information from you and you don't really know the person it is advisable that you don't get closer to the car just stay at a distance and answer the person that you are talking to also to if you are being followed and you notice always watch your environment if you are being followed don't always forget to go to the nearest business the nearest place that has a lot of people that has a lot of crowd it is very very important be aware of your surrounding and environment also it has been noticed that women should have should women most times they 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 easily accept people yeah it is not a, a, a negative thing to accept people but one thing we, we must know is accepting people also comes with responsibility when you accept people ensure that you know the person that you are accepting also let us also look at the safety tips that need to be taken when you are dating first and foremost when you are dating you must always create a limit you must always create a boundary you must always place um, a territory that should not be trampled especially when it comes to sex you should you should place a limit that so 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 level we're not going to cross this level this is a red line and we're not going to cross this red line so it's very very important it helps to save um, the, 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 the incidents of rape also too it is good those who are in relationship they should communicate their desires because when they communicate their desires it helps them to to it makes the relationship to be stronger and it makes the relationship to be to be worthwhile when the desires is being communicated also avoid being alone if you really don't trust your partner avoid being alone in an isolated location also to avoid the use of hard drugs and alcohol yeah that's very very important alcohol and hard drugs has really made many people to make mistake that later they regretted why they actually took those things our drugs should be avoided by all means also too you should also be aware of date rape drugs there are some drugs that are odorless there are some drugs that are tasteless you can't feel it when it is being dropped inside the alcohol or inside the soft drink and how does this work it makes you slip off and once you slip off you can't get yourself until the deed is done just like i was talking to somebody today the person was telling me how somebody puts um this um day trip drugs inside the drink for a little baby for a little child about the age of 10 and the old man I, 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 putting drugs inside a drink for a, uh, for a child of 10 years just to make the girl slip off and to have kinna, kinna knowledge of the girl so we need to be very very careful what we drink and what we eat also too if you do not trust a particular person do not go to any party with the person so it is advice and encouraging that your parties should always be in group let it be in group and being in group means that you should always go with those people that you trust 